Let's talk about thresholding. And this is an example. I think this might be taken also from uh, Linda Shapiro. So the idea is that you're imaging these uh, cherries. Okay, and the idea is that the background here is very dark, okay, and a healthy cherry is kind of bright, all right, but a bruised part is medium dark. And what you'd like to do is be able to say, do I have a bunch of bruised pixels? So in this particular one, they've removed all the black things, but you see these are the grayscale values, right? And you and I look at this and we say, yep, you know what, here's my threshold. And this is the number of pixels that are bruised, and this is the number of, of pixels that are good. And the idea of finding a threshold like that automatically is not trivial. Generally, what you do when you're looking for thresholds is you take a histogram of the intensities, right? So uh, this might be, you know, go from 0 to 255, and this is the number of pixels that you have in the image. And the question is, you know, what are your distributions? Unlike this one, which had this nice clean dis uh, separation there, this one it's a lot more complicated. Are there two or are there three? I think, you know, for my, for my take, I'd say, oh, there's three lobes there, right? And there's different ways of trying to do that. Uh, a simple method, this is, a, again, a long time ago, Atsu's method. It's, it's, it's a binary vision method that basically says, find, assume that your system is bimodal and find the cutoff that minimizes the within group variance. Okay, so you're only allowed to draw one line. And so, and it's weighted by essentially this, these, these values. And when you do that, what's kind of cool about it is you can do that when it's certainly bimodal. When it's actually trimodal, let's say, you'll typically pick one of the modes, all right? And then uh, you can look, do it again, and you'll cut it again. And what's kind of nice is when you slice a mode that shouldn't be sliced, you'll get a reduction in the variance, but not very much. And you can track how much that is. And, it, and the method can be adapted to do a pretty good job of thresholding um, uh, a continuous grayscale into either a binary or a three-valued uh, uh, system.